What's up guys? Welcome back to Master of Pottery, the game where we make, design, uh, exhibit, and hopefully sell pottery. <laughs> so this game is a really, really uh, cheap game that can be found on Steam. It's less than $4 at the time. Um, but as you can see visually, it's very, very nice. Um, the graphics are surprisingly very, very good in this game. The controls are super easy, and it's just a nice, relaxing game for when you just want a change of pace, or you don't want to get burnt out on your favorite game. You come here, you play this, and you just enjoy the time. So, what I did from the last game, as you can see already, there's some changes. Uh, in the last video, we made zero, we made no cell, and we made lava. And what I did off video was I went ahead and I did two more exhibitions, which gave me some more money. Um, and I also had two emails from Mason who donated some more money. Uh, I was wrong. This uh, fourth pillar here, this fourth pedestal, that actually cost us 2000 and so I went ahead and bought that, and I bought another um, paint, and now I'm broke again. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go ahead and make another piece of pottery, and because the last video was a lot longer than I had anticipated, we're just going to do one more piece, we're going to make it, we're going to do another exhibition, go through buying some more stuff, and then uh, we'll move on from there. I don't think we're going to go much further than that. Um, again, guys, if you if you like this series, hit that like button. That lets me know that you want to see more. And uh, we might even do a poll if I can figure out how uh, polling is done. Just to see uh, what your favorite piece of pottery is so far. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, but anyways, let's jump into it. Let's make our new piece of pottery. We might do two just so we have one um, to spare for when we get another pedestal or in case one of these actually sells. So what I'm thinking here as this is loading is we've got some tall vases. I'm thinking we should do a little shorty. Um, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now is we should do something that's smaller in size. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and smooth this out as much as possible. Whoa, hey, that didn't work out. Um, I don't really know how small we can get this. It doesn't look like we can go much smaller than that right there. That looks, that looks like it's it. So, um, I'm just going to keep going up and down until I get that smoothness all the way out to where it's maxed out and then we'll start screwing with this piece all right so that is as far down as we can go um wow what do we do next um, I think we should do our lip like we usually do uh, let's see here Maybe we should go with something just outrageous, huh? Maybe something like that, because that's just, that's out there. Um, and then let's, let's try the 90 degree. Wow. I was hoping it would be bigger than that. Uh, maybe this one? No. I, I don't, I'm not sure how I want to do this. But I'm thinking kind of like um, a chalice that you might see at like a church just something really unique compared to everything else that we have oops looks like I missed something there but that's okay we can work with that I, I, I like working with these mistakes So this this is actually looking more like a uh, <laughs> like a tray that you might find at a uh, convention or a buffet 
where all the different food would be on top of it. <laughs> not what I was going for. I'm not going to lie. It's not what I was going for. But at the same time, I can't really complain because we're just going to... We're going to have fun with this. Let's see how far we can take this. Um, and just do something completely unique. Oh, that's definitely not what I was wanting. Um... <laughs> Oops. So we can take that like that. Um... Let's see what we can do with this piece here now. So yeah, I... I, I just... I like screwing with this. Just to see what we can do. See what can come up with and then maybe we can just kind of fill that no it's not gonna let us just fill that um, what if we went with the bigger one I'm not seeing any changes are you guys oh hey so I can go fatter um yeah so this is interesting I, I kind of like it though. It's like a little um, display uh, plate or something like that. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go to the mini game. See what we got. All right. So let's whoa. Slow down there. Um, I really messed that up. Little increments, little increments. Okay. Whoa. Why does it just keep wanting to take off on you like that? That's so annoying. Alright, um, so, glazing. I think we should go with a smooth glaze on this. Oh, uh, we do have a new, did I get, when did I get this new pattern? Oh, I remember. I remember now. And we don't want to do a pattern yet. We want to get a color. Jeez, I'm like all over the place since the last episode. Uh, so we got this fresh green. So I'm thinking maybe we should do a blue and a green? I don't know how it's going to come out. And I don't know if I want black as the base coat or white. You know what? We've, we've done white, so let's do black. And as you can see, this is going to take some time. We're going to have to go over this a few times to get that really dark black that I want to get. Um, Alright, so this is going to take some time. Bear with me, guys. I, I wish there was a way where we can kind of set the pressure of the brush, how much ink, or how much paint, rather, is applied. Um... I mean, this is nice because you do get that gradient for for really good shading and for uh, just softening up colors and whatnot. But man, it can be a pain in the butt when you're just trying to get a nice solid base. So all I'm doing is I'm holding down the right mouse button and just going over this several, several times until... I get all of it, or as much as it will let me get. And here I am looking at the uh, the square, what I what I call the palette. Why does it keep moving on me? I guess that's as dark as we're gonna get because it's not letting me do anything else here. So that's black. Let's move on. Let's find another color. I'm thinking we should focus on blues and greens. So how about the sea in color? This is really interesting. I'm going to dab that on there a couple times. See how dark that gets. Not really dark. <laughs> I was hoping it would get darker than that. Let's try that. Well, that's a little bit darker. Okay. Um... Maybe we should do, like, up in here.
I'm curious to see how that plays out. Oh, you can't really see anything that's happening uh, with that black, which is okay. Because I'm hoping that it will still come out, but it makes it so this blue is, um, what the fuck was that? Why did it do that? Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay, um, so that was not expected. Thankfully, it only took one go over to get that. Um, weird, but okay. So let's, um, go lightly over the rest of this. So we get this really neat blue that's coming through. I really kind of like that. I mean, it looks like a mistake, but it's not. <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool with that black undercoating underneath it. I, I do like that. I kind of wish I didn't go too hard on it. Um, but we're, we're going to work with it. We're going to work with it. So let's go patterns. Uh, we don't want to use any of those. Let's go here. We got this new pattern here. And I think... That might look good right there. We're going to increase that though. So we get that black right there. Um, you know, actually, I kind of like how it looks like that. I do like that. Now, do I want to keep it black or do I want to try this green? Whoa, dang, that is bright. How about the starry blue on that? Cranberry, magenta, no. Buddha yellow, olive green, china red, and white. The white actually looks pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie, that, that does look good. But I think we're going to stick with the black. And then, do I want to repeat that? I do. So we're going to repeat that. Oh, come on. Why? Why does it screw up like that? Um, anyways. So we're going to bring this down some. Like that, I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah like that. And then we're going to do... Um, what are we going to do? We are going to do maybe the filled in triangles. Something like that. That looks weird, huh? But it's not bad. It's, it's, it's weird, but in a kind of neat way. Unless screw around with this. Whoa! Now that looks funky! We're not gonna keep it though. It's too funky. Um... Maybe something like that? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Because that's kind of boring. Uh, let's be honest, that's boring. How about if we do a black pattern? But we're gonna make this something like that. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and copy that and put that underneath like that. And then we're gonna copy that again. And we're going to bring it up to the lip, just like that. Alright, <clears throat> so now I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should do something else. Uh, just to kind of break this up. Um, 
maybe these guys down here. But let's rotate it so it's upside down. Uh, do something like that, and we'll just do... Uh, do we want them big like that? Actually, yeah, you know... Oops, let's go something like that. Let's make them really big. So it's touching like that. Now we can work with this. Mm, that might be too much. Maybe something like that. And then let's give it a different color. So that green is really bright, and I know that. But let's see if we can... There we go. Like that. We'll go back to the color, and let's ghost it out a little bit to where it's just noticeable. Something like that. I think that looks really interesting. Um... Yeah, what do you guys think? I actually kind of like this. I don't like that I can't color this up here. Or maybe I can, I just didn't try hard enough. I don't know. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's try. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. But, um, yeah, what do we think? Uh, maybe call it, um... Hmm, what are we going to call it? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, we'll have to figure out a name. But it's definitely different. Um, not the most artistic, not the most appealing to the eye, but it is unique. Um, we got a B ranking out of it, so it's, it's okay. Oh, uh, let's see, what can we come up I'm just looking around, and um, we're going to call it, how about the Blue Bowl? <laughs> oh, Blue Bowl. I like it. Let's go with that. Complete! And then we're going to go ahead and set that guy up on a pedestal because we can. Boom! And... Boom! <laughs> God, that looks horrible. Um... So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna run another exhibition and see where we are from there. I, I kind of want to make another piece, but I really, really want to save up for a new glaze. I want to get uh, some new patterns. Um, so what I may end up doing is doing a couple of exhibitions, maybe go up to like day 15 or so, just doing exhibitions, getting that money, and going from there. Also, we have four, so I think we should raise our price. Do I want to go to 16? Because right now it's $4, next, $4 a piece. Um, or I can go to 14 which would be seven dollars per two pieces let's try it you know, I mean if they complain about the price then we can always lower it but I think for now let's give that a go let's we'll see what happens Okay, so I just realized I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> um, let's go back. Okay. <laughs> totally screwed that up. Uh, exhibition day. Let's try that.
Alright, so there's that exhibition. As you can see, we got 90 visitors, which, which is a new record. 1,260 income, which is a new record. And our showroom heat is at 103. Wow! Alright, well, let's look at this. Zero surpassed everything that I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to stop at 75, and it's already at 102. So Zero's doing a lot better than I thought it would, because it is ugly. But it, uh, apparently people are liking it. Um, no Cell, it, it, it surpassed what I thought it was going to do, too. I thought it was going to stop at around 60, and it's at 81. So I must have done something right. I, I didn't think I did that great. Lava is doing really good. I thought it was going to be at 100 and something. So far, it's at 92 and increasing. So that's a good thing. And then, of course, our new one, Blue Bowl. It had 28 visitors on its first day of exhibition. Let's see what else we've got going on. These loading screens, man, that, that's beautiful. I would love to create something like that. So... <clears throat> Hope the exhibition hall can be expanded. New work is great. Nobody's complaining about the price. So I'm thinking I might want to up it maybe another dollar? Um, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know how the pricing works. I also haven't run any publicity stunts yet. Uh, but anyways, let's see what's new in the store. So we got a whole bunch of new stuff. We got a purple clay. We got this conclave gaze, glaze. Um, this Chinese pattern, Hawthorne yellow uh, paint, uh, tri pattern, this, this conclave glaze. Um, it's a little bit different. It's kind of like a fish scale type thing. I really like that. I just don't have the money to buy it. Uh, white clay, lilac brown paint, this new Chinese pattern, and this tribal pattern. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out, guys, and I just realized this, is under the patterns, if it has this little rainbow underneath here, that means you can recolor it. If it does not have that rainbow underneath it, like these tribal ones, that means you cannot recolor it. it that That's it, right there. So, um, that's something to keep in mind if you ever decide to play this game. But anyways, we're not going to buy anything right now. I do want to save up for at least a new glaze, maybe a pattern. Um, but we do have two unread letters, so let's check those out. Ooh, these are not from Mason, so we might have some pieces that sold. From Sasha. New dog, I saw your expedition yesterday. Zero is my favorite one. Can I buy it? Um, she's gonna give me almost 2,000 for that? For that piece of crap? Uh, I'm probably gonna say yes. Let's see what this other offer is. Okay. Um, from Gitchi Kendai. Hi, new dog. The exhibition is great. I really like No Cell, especially its design. Although it has a rough surface, it is very style. Can I get it? <laughs> it is very style. <laughs> Oh man, I, the grammar, and I don't know if you guys caught it in the last video, but they actually misspelled a word. Um, I'm gonna, I, it, I'm still in the editing process of that video, um, as of right now, so you're gonna see this video after that one's already published, but um, I'm gonna point it out. <laughs> I am so gonna point it out. Um, but yeah, uh, they didn't edit their stuff at all here. Um, the grammar, the spelling, uh, there's not even a space between the period and the next sentence. <laughs> you know, uh, there should at least be a space. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to go ahead and sell these two pieces because these are the first pieces we sell. So let's get this 19, 1980. That's a good year. That's the year I was born. Um, anyways, <laughs> sell. And then we'll go here. And from Gichi Kendai. Uh, we'll sell this one too. Alright, cool. So that brought us up to 4,518. Um, I love that. And we got a new unread letter. This one's from Mason. Okay. 
from Mason. New dog, I heard that someone bought your work. Great! Your artistic creation will affect more people. Maybe I will go back in a hundred days. I hope to get more good news before that. Um, maybe I will come back in a hundred days. Um, developers? For English? Maybe I will come back in a in a hundred days. That that would be the correct way of doing that. Um, but anyways, I'm not here to correct grammar. Um, I'm here to get money. So let's do that. Escape out of that. Now, now we got something to work with, guys. So let's go to the store. We've got five thousand um, dollars. So we're definitely getting a new glaze. The rough glaze? Oh man, I kind of want the metal glaze. But we don't have enough. Okay, we're going to get the rough glaze. Because we haven't had it before. Why not? Patterns. Let's check out some patterns. Do we want to do like a tribal thing? That could be interesting, right? I think we should maybe try a tribal pot. Um... But I definitely want to get this cheat pattern here, for sure. Um, let's see here. Maybe do some fish? I think that would be a good one. This would be good for borders, as with that one. That one's just kind of yuck. I do like the different colors in that. That'll give us something to work with. So we're going to buy that. Um, let's see, if I get this, that'll give us two more colors that we can buy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then let's go to the pigments. Let's buy some new colors. Let's see, what would be good colors for that? Dark gray probably would be a good one to have. But we're looking for earthy tones. So I think lilac brown for sure. And then we need a yellow. How about hawthorn? Yeah, I think Hawthorne. Get the Hawthorne yellow. Okay, so our next one is definitely going to be more of a tribal look. And then, um, we might do two of them. Just to do two different tribal types. I don't know. Um, we do have that new glaze, too, so we're going to have to work with that. I think we should work with that. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I hope you like this, and why don't you go ahead, if you guys don't mind... Actually, you know what? Forget that. Belay that. Um, I might actually edit that part out. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, um, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, be safe, be cool, have fun. Thanks for watching.